Hey, what's up folks, GK here. So G-Cloud is one important concept that is overlooked before going into associate exam. So I did get one question in the exam and if you, are, if you haven't practiced it properly, it is a bit confusing if you don't know how the structure of G-Cloud is. So in this video, I'm going to go over the basic understanding of G-Cloud, how it is constructed, and I'm going to go over some of the important commands of the G-Cloud. But most importantly, I'll go over an important G-Cloud command that for sure you have to practice before going into exam. With that, let's go into the demo. All right, folks, so first things first. So we have to understand what is a G Cloud. So basically G Cloud is a command line interface. So if you're aware of AWS, you have something called AWS CLI. Uh, similar to that, Google has, you know, G Cloud. So G Cloud can be accessed either from your cloud shell, which I'm going to show you, which we are going to see in the demo, or you can also access G Cloud from your desktop or laptop where you have your SDK installed and you can perform all the operations in the terms of like, you know, you can create compute engine, uh, you can create a, a bucket, you can do all those stuff from the command line interface. So there are multiple levels of releases. Now, in general, whatever we do as default when we do G Cloud compute or G Cloud uh, any other service. So those are by default GA, meaning that, you know, those services are available for everybody to use and uh, anything that's part of that service in the GA from the G Cloud perspective, you don't have to type beta or alpha. So anything that, that is released as a beta or alpha stage, you have to specifically install the components using the G Cloud command, and then you have to use those commands. Now, this is important from the exams perspective. I mean, the reason why I'm saying this is important is you have to at least have the structure in your mind whenever you're seeing any question or when you get any question in the exam with respect to G Cloud. So there are five things that you have to remember. So obviously the command starts with G cloud, right? And then the compute is the component. So here it, the component could be compute or the component could be a deployment manager or any service, or even for apps, for app engine, we, it could be apps, um, for, you know, GK related services it could be containers. So, so the component is important. So always after G cloud, it starts with component and then the entity like inside that uh, compute, what is the entity? It's instances and then operations that we are performing here, the operation is to create or destroy or delete, you know, uh, so all that is after the entity. And then the positional arguments, like here we're going to create an instance with the name example instance one. So that's the positional argument. And obviously there are some flags that in some cases are optional. And in some cases, if you don't specify, you have to specify the flag. Uh, for example, if you do not have the default zone specified in the configuration, so it doesn't know which zone, uh, in which zone the instance has to be created. So you specify that in the flag. And this is a command structure. So keep this in your mind when you're uh, typing any command so that you're not confused. For example, the, uh, the most common confusion is when you do G Cloud uh, if you want to create an instance, you, you we do G Cloud instance create or G Cloud, you know, instances destroy. So always remember that the services are important and the keywords related to the services are important. Uh, meaning for a compute engine, we have compute as a keyword. Vaguely, I remember I got one question in the exam, in the associate exam related to G Cloud. And that's why I have put these important commands based on my experience, based on what I've got in the exam, but feel free to share in the comments. Um, if you have already took the exam or if you want to help other people, what you got in the exam, uh, with respect to G cloud. Now, one thing I got in the exam related to was regarding the configurations. And that's where I'm going to focus more on this video is how we're going to manipulate, how we're going to work around, uh, with the G cloud configurations uh, in your command shell, because that's important from the G cloud perspective as well. If I have to give you a real time example, uh, when you're working in a company right now, you deal with a lot of different environments, right? And it could be a non prod or prod. It could be a dangerous thing. If you have all the configurations in one config file, so it's better to switch around different profiles. Right. I mean, it's easier to, let's say you want to activate for dev, you want to create something in dev, you can quickly switch across to dev configuration and then create an instance or 
do all your operations in in dev and similarly similarly in prod as well so that's why this concept is very important and this gives you the personalization of uh, your configurations from your uh, command line g cloud iam roles copy is important too and gs util so gs util is obviously important so what i would suggest you all when you are practicing g cloud commands is so i'm going to give this cheat sheet link in the description and this is very good important uh, cheat sheet and it has all the important stuff mentioned here uh, for instance when you get started what is the g cloud init command that that's going to uh, be helpful and what is what are the components install how do you install the components and the thing that i'm going to focus now and you're going to see in the demo is this part personalization and this is where i feel that you know it is important from the exams perspective as well and these are other things that you might have seen in my previous videos as well i was trying to uh, print access token in one video i was trying to activate a service account in my os login video you know so this is a uh, common operations and common things that you do in your company when you are working with g cloud and iam as well let's say you are in a governance team you know you want to create a role or uh, you want to copy a role copy an iam role which is another important command is uh, you know it's useful to copy the role from one project to another project or copy a role to a different organization and another common confusion point is uh, from the gke perspective so which command is used for what for example i have described this in my uh, gke video as well uh, in the third video the question would be around if you are trying to work on the pods or if you are trying to describe the pods so the command starts with kubectl because you are working around the kubernetes you know uh, pods and stuff it's not g cloud so when you are working on the uh, cluster level configurations when you are working on uh, you know nodes inside gke so that's when you would use the g cloud container and obviously we do lot of compute operations i would suggest you try to create your compute engine instances from uh, from the command line too so that way you are more familiar with that and so whatever service you practice from ui uh, rather from the console make sure that you are practicing from the command line too so that way you are more familiar uh, honestly in my opinion I, i have used more g cloud app than creating an app engine from uh, the console and you have looked at my if you look at my previous videos in the app engine as well i did lot of app destroy and app deploy and stuff because it's easier to do it from the command line uh, as you have to create uh, aml file and other configurations from uh, the command line itself so that and there are some miscellaneous important stuff with sql logging and kms and all those things so now let's go to our cloud shell so like i've said before you know you can use it from cloud shell or uh, if you have an sdk installed on your computer you can do it from here too so the g cloud you know config list this i'm doing it from my uh, computer local computer and this here i'm doing it from the cloud shell and the configuration obviously will be different but what i'm trying to say is that you know sdk is already part of the cloud shell and uh, if you want to install sdk uh, it's very easy i don't want to create a video and waste your time for that but let me know in the comments if you need a video for that okay so the g cloud config list is a basic command uh, that gives you the config details it's it's like your github config details you know it's stored in a configuration file inside the shell and it's going to display all the details related to your uh, configurations here as you can see there are different sections inside this so there is a core section and there is a compute section let's say you want to change the account from here to a service account so you can do just gcloud config set account and then you can change it to a service account you don't have to explicitly mention the compute like which which i'm going to do for compute now. now let's say i'm going to change the or rather add a zone a default zone uh, for compute engine so that i don't have to specify when creating a compute engine if i have to do that i have to do g cloud config set compute slash zone us central 1c so i have set the zone now now if i do g cloud config list 
you can see the zone is set inside the compute section when i create a compute engine from here on it won't ask me for a region or zone because you know it's already set i just have to create a compute engine without mentioning any flags to first list what configurations you have the command is gcloud config configurations list and currently i have one configuration which which is uh, this name now the command to create uh, configurations is gcloud configurations create my i want to give it as a youtube thing you know because i do a lot of operations on this youtube okay so i cannot use underscore i think so i'm going to use as i'm going to do it as my youtube perfect so if i don't specify no activate like if i don't specify no activate here as a flag it's going to activate that configuration by default so if i do g cloud config configurations again list Uh, the previous one became false because the new one got activated now i'm going to do gcloud config set project for this and if i do config list you're going to see my project set and configurations list so the one that is active currently i have a project set for it which is this one and then I can also set a default zone and region here. So now if I have to switch across to a different project and set that one, so I can select one more project here. And I'm going to create a new configuration for that. So now I go, I do gcloud config configurations create my underscore my dev rather the flag is no activate all right so now we have more configurations and if i want to activate that my dev i can activate that my dev by doing gcloud config configurations activate my dev so now my dev is activated so if i do configurations list again here you see so my dev is active and then i can go back and set the project id uh, to a dev project id here gcloud config set project now if i do list again now you can see i have two environments uh, one is dev and one is youtube which i consider it as a prod so now if I create an instance or anything, I can switch to configuration profile and then create a compute engine or create any other resource. In the exam, the way the questions are framed and at least the question that I got was around how you create the resource uh, switching to a different project. So as I've said, you know, the easiest way is activating one profile where you have that project and then creating the resource. So that was the answer and I got it right and I hope you'll also get it right uh, after you practice this. So the reason why I wanted to stress on this gcloud is uh, people go into exam covering a lot of aspects but they tend to forget or, or they tend to overlook this concept. So I suggest you all practice uh, gcloud for resources that you're creating and I wanted to stress more on the configurations which I did and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions on this. Uh, with that thank you so much for watching and if you like this content do click on subscribe and share it with your friends thank you all